Hi, we're Kev and Emma. 18 months ago we started a new adventure and bought a 57 foot narrowboat called Ripple. Why not join us and watch our highs and lows, the renovations and changes we've made, the clever storage that's been created and find out what it's really like living and working full time aboard a narrowboat with two dogs while exploring the waterways of our beautiful country. Good morning. So here we are, just leaving Bletchley or um, Fenny Stratford. Uh, we spent the day at Bletchley Park yesterday. It's really, really good. Um, really informative day out. Lots to do, lots to see. Um, we made use of um, the top tip that we got from Amy and Wes, who got the top tip from another set of boaters, can't remember who they were, um, that if you catch a train, you get buy one get one free so it's two for one when you go in but there you've got to take your ticket take your yeah take your train ticket so um so the train cost us four pounds each no, each, two, no two together two it's two pound each, each. return and then um it was 26 pounds to get in each but obviously we paid 26 pounds so it's 30 pounds for for um to enter to get into Bletchley park and um, yeah, it was it was really informative. I still don't a hundred percent understand the machine that he created, um, but I that's probably. Oh. We we read lots and lots and lots. We watched lots. Of, we did lots of interactive stuff. We watched a couple of films in there, like little um, animations and stuff. Still, I can I understand it to a certain extent, and then it's all a bit like. I managed to decode the child's Morse code bit. That, that, that's that was it. That was yeah. it. Uh, more at Fenny Stratford, and then um, catch the train from Fenny Stratford to Bletchley, and it is literally a five-minute walk, if that, from the train station. So um, really easy access as well. But today we are heading to uh, further towards Milton Keynes. So we're hoping to moor up not far from the Gulliver's World Gulliver's World theme park place um, because we've got the grandchildren coming later on today. So yeah, so we're moving the boat up, hoping to get a mooring uh, not far from Willen Lake is the place where it's near. Um, and then again, it'll be walking distance. So there's some really good stuff to see along this stretch of the GU actually, um, particularly if you've got kids. Um, so yeah, come with us. So for this morning's cruise, Grumpy Guts there has decided to join us and sunbathe on his pillow. Yeah, I had to clear everything off to put it because he kept moaning at me. And Molly has joined us in her bed. We've just passed another boat. Very grumpy, they didn't say a word, just stared straight ahead. I haven't had anybody's really no. said morning. Oh, yeah, no, we've had nobody. It's uh, one of those grumpy days, I guess, for the boaters maybe. Maybe it's Grumpy Friday, who knows? Like Black Friday, but Grumpy Friday. Do the weekend though. Do the weekend. Very happy. Yes. Oh, there you go. So just so you know what Alfie does, there's a bush. So he's barking and growling at a bush. There you go, look. Just 
stupid dog. There's imposters out there. This boat has imposter syndrome. It must have. <laughs> there is only one ripple. It's a green ripple. It's, it's a, a green ripple, ripple rather than a blue ripple. But there is another ripple. This boat is called Way Out, and that is Oliver and Karen who have just said hello to us, a couple of our subscribers. Always the, nice to see Always nice to see subscribers, and they were happy. Uh, yeah, our they, first, first cheery Oli people today. Yeah, Oliver and Karen were our first cheery people today, so thank you guys. Put a smile on our face. Yeah, lovely meeting you both. So here we are, we are all moored up. Kev's getting camp set up for us because we're gonna be here for a couple of days. And we've just passed, back that way, a floating market, which we always seem to be in the wrong place at the, the wrong time for floating markets. Uh, we've kind of, we've always missed them by a couple of days or what have you. Uh, and so we are in the, exactly the right place because the bridge here, from that bridge to the next bridge is, is no mooring because that is where the floating market is. Look how close we are. Yeah, it's a bit of a couple of Unfortunately, days. we've got some trees up to our right, so we're gonna pretty much get square root and no solar. We've got the grandkids coming up and Aaron coming up. So they've all got tech that they are start plugging in and everything else, so. But when you got a nice pub over there, a floating market, eldest son and grandkids coming up. Don't mind running the engine and being in a bit of a darker spot. So, yep, home. Here we are. home for a few days. Uh, good afternoon. It is the afternoon because we have spent this morning with the grandkids over at Willem Lake. If you have got children with you and you are cruising past or through or near Milton Keynes, it's a great place to moor. There was a crazy golf, there's high ropes, there's pedlos, there's big wheels, bouncy castles, all sorts, things. loads of loads. stuff. Loads of stuff for the kids to do. Splash lakes, everything. It's, if you've got kids or you are a big kid, you could have a great fun great out there. Place it's pretty good, pretty yeah. worth, worthwhile. So we've just done crazy golf and pedlos, and the kids have had ice creams and they have had their legs walked off them. And so now we are going to cruise and see how far we can get. We're a day behind ourselves now, aren't we? Yeah. So, so um, well, half a day, I suppose. We need to get going and get so, a rig on. Yeah. So we do still have the deadline of Hornsen, so we've got to be mindful. So join us. Seven and a half miles to Cosgrove. Let's see if we can get there. So, look at the state of this bridge. It's cracked all over the place. Both sides and the Both sides. That's got to be close to falling in. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, ahead, we're going under it very quickly so that it doesn't fall on us. It looks pretty sturdy underneath, to be fair. So it is uh, Bank Holiday Monday. You'll notice on the stern, it is just me. Aaron's actually inside making a cup of tea, and Emma and the grandkids are up on the bow of the boat. So they're having a bit of a luxurious ride today. We've done one lock. And it's very lovely, look. Look at this behind us. Rural, bushes, cows, farmers' fields, 
lovely, just how we like it. Don't get me wrong, we do like the towns and that, but much prefer rural cruising and rural moorings, middle of nowhere, no light pollution, pitch black. I'm just coming up to quite a tight corner so you watch a boat appear. We've had a few boats today. I'm actually following another boat who you may know from a few vlogs ago, well, quite a few vlogs ago, when we were on the Kennet and Avon, when we blew our mega fuse. Uh, a young lad called Dylan from Pro Electrical came down and fixed it for us. So we've just gone the first lock at Cosgrove with Dylan, and he's going up here, so we're following him at the moment. Um, I don't know how far he's going, but we are going all the way to Blissworth. So we're not going to do the tunnel, we're going to stop before then. And going to lose the grandkids and Aaron. They're being collected later on. So we've got a bit of a trek in front of us, but we shall get there slowly but surely. But what a beautiful day it is. Absolutely stunning. So she's finally gracious with the presence at last and it's taken over the driving. Over. I've done lots of driving. Your turn. Driving, not then you're going to fall out and you're going to fall off. <laughs> Did you see that one of our friends that we met in Hainville Marina? Jack from Narrowboat Stokey. Narrowboat Stokey. Good to see him. Went past the boat and uh, he was obviously inside but, but didn't see us. I was on the bow with the kids so and Kev didn't see his boat at all. Totally oblivious to anything really. So, um, so, uh, so anyway I messaged him on Insta and then the next thing you know he's popped up on a bridge to, to wave to us. He got in his car to come and say hello bless him. So lovely yeah. So, so if, you don't, if you don't follow him on Insta, narrowboat Stokey. Yeah he posts, posts lovely stuff. Yeah go follow him really good and, Jack uh, you need to vlog hopefully hopefully maybe we'll catch up with him for a drink down Braunston direction yeah we'll be down there for a little while aren't we so. yeah nothing for miles but countryside rolling hills sheep just eating lovely it's not even a lovely day, it's not even really sunny or anything, but it's not particularly warm, but it's just beautiful. I'll take this over the Thames any day of the week. So we are just coming up to the bottom of Stoke Bruin Locks, which means for us, we've now completed the bottom of the GU that we never did. As grandchild number one jumping around in the background, and that is it. We are back on familiar waters, if you like. We know where the Elsons are, the water points are, all the way up to Braunston. So this is the first lock of seven. I just got in there, Aaron's up there somewhere, Emma and Phoebe are over there. Ellis is down in the boat playing some game, not sure what. And one dog's up here with me, one dog's down there with Ellis. Uh, let's see how long this takes us to do. We're meeting the grandchildren's, I think it's their mum's coming up to get them, not their dad. Uh, so we're meeting my daughter-in-law at the top. And she's going to come and uh, collect the children and collect Aaron. This is the first one. I thought we'd be busier, considering it's a bank holiday. I've seen a couple of boats go up. No. It may get busy near the top, I guess. Might find some volunteers, who knows? So that's nice. The boat that was in front of us, um, that went up, I don't know, 10 minutes before us, Aaron came up with them and kind of helped them do the lock and obviously he needed to reset it for us to come up. Um, yeah, all good. So my granddaughter's putting the thumbs up at me to open the gate paddles now. So uh, it's all a new experience for her doing them by herself. Emma is obviously there with her, we're not just letting a nine-year-old control the lock. Um, but the couple in front have said to uh, Aaron, they said, oh, if you're coming up, we we do this one. They didn't realise we were moving. In fairness, they came past us and we hadn't untied, started the engine or anything, so why would you? 
and they said oh no we're just going to reset the lock so they're going to wait in the next one for us uh, the gate paddles are open the ground paddles are open i think young phoebe's working up a sweat already lover So we haven't done much video on this one. <clears throat> this is lock number oh, three. The pounds are shockingly low. So it's slow coming out of the lock into the next pound. There's clearly been a lot of boats down, but not a lot up. There's Emma there, Aaron and Phoebe over that side. And uh, this is number four, three, number four, three. We're just going into number four. Is uh, lock number five done? We got two more to do, I believe. I think it's lock number five, anyway. I'm hoping we can get up the top before uh, that decides it wants to open. This one is the final lock coming up. Lovely pub behind me there, which Phoebe seems to want to go in for some reason. I don't know why she wants to go into a pub, but she always loves a pub, so. Last one of the flight and we're done. So after oof, that was quite a long cruise actually, was it five hours, five and a half hours? Yeah, about five and a half. We have arrived in Stoke Bruin, um, which is exactly where we wanted to mm, be. Lock's all done. Yeah. Um, top lock was a bit, oh, there was probably there was a lot. 40 people at least a on Goozlers. people watching, yeah, and Kev was last to go in the lock, of course. <sighs> so uh, they were all watching to see if he was, let's watch to see if he bumps into the wall. <laughs> which I didn't. He didn't, he smashed it. I drifted straight Not in, thank you very much. To get, you can see. Stoke Bruin just in the background there and we are moored up here and we've got a two-day mooring so we're going to stay here possibly for one or maybe we might maybe do two, two. We'll see. Um, because see the next we thing we need to tackle is Bisworth Tunnel so for now we are going to stay here for a bit and um, go to thank the pub you. yeah thank you for watching um, please don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon to be notified of our next video and please hit the like button if you like this video if you didn't hit it anyway it's goodbye from us and <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> from the grandkids it's goodbye from them <laughs> <laughs>
did some more. Look at this little cube. Good time. Not I'm saying making good time. I've no idea what the time is. But I'm sure we are. And, uh, <laughs> just just hit it. You've come this far. Just hit just, the like button. Just, just hit all those buttons. Just hit everything apart from don't subscribe to anyone else because you may hit too many buttons. Yeah. Just hit us. And so yeah, uh, it's goodbye.